Hello, my name is Leon Johnson from Asset Optimization Consultants. I have been providing risk-based inspection services, including program implementation, management, and training for over 20 years. Today, I'd like to spend a few minutes discussing RBI project planning. In this video, we will look at developing the RBI project scope, how the choice of RBI methodology and software will affect the RBI project, how data quality and availability will affect the RBI project, and selecting the RBI team and managing the transition to risk-based inspection. Once the objectives of the RBI assessment have been established, the first big effort will be to determine the scope of the RBI project. This will include determining the process units and the equipment types and the specific equipment items to be included. Your initial RBI scope will change, so be prepared to adjust your project plan accordingly. Some of the most common reasons that the scope will change include the initial equipment list or asset register may be inaccurate due to being out of date or equipment not being classified correctly. As the project progresses, the RBI team may choose to add additional covered processes. Also, as the project progresses, equipment may be removed for various reasons where either the value of RBI cannot be realized or RBI is not allowed by regulations. For example, you may exclude small equipment, which is more economical to replace than to inspect. Regulated equipment like boilers may require fixed interval inspections. Your choices for RBI methodologies are qualitative, semi-quantitative, or quantitative based upon API recommended practices 580 and 581. The data requirements for RBI will vary widely depending upon the RBI methodology that you choose. More quantitative RBI methods require more data. You need to ensure that the software that you have selected for your RBI implementation is ready to use when you start your project and that your RBI team members have the appropriate access to it. Organizations and facilities have unique work processes and ways of organizing and classifying their equipment, which sometimes requires configuration and customization of the RBI software. This takes time. So you want to ensure that you allow time for these activities prior to your implementation effort. Since both the RBI methodology and software will likely be new to your organization, plan for training to be facilitated as close as possible to when the RBI team members will need to use the new knowledge and skills. Once you've defined what data is needed based on your chosen RBI methodology, you should perform a gap analysis to determine what data is available at your facility and the effort needed to gather that missing data. To optimize the data collection process, RBI team members will need access to the RBI data. Do they have appropriate permissions? Can they access this data remotely? To ensure quality results, you will need to validate the data used in your RBI implementation, and this takes time. You can't start your RBI project until you've identified your RBI team. In order to build ownership and sustainability for the RBI program, Ideally, the RBI team members should be selected from the user owner facility. However, if skilled resources are not available, you will need to use contractors. Due to the scope, a plant-wide transition from time or condition-based inspection programs to risk-based needs to occur incrementally. For example, some facilities implement RBI unit by unit based upon shutdown or turnaround schedules. This provides the opportunity to apply lessons learned for future units that are converting to RBI with the added benefit of realizing potential inspection optimization during the shutdowns. Since risk-based inspection may introduce significant changes, you will need to ensure that your project plan includes time and resources for communication, collaboration, and training to integrate personnel into the new risk-based inspection work processes and a software aligned with the change management plan for the organization. If you'd like more information on this topic or other asset integrity topics, please visit our website or email us. Thank you.